going to look at the string stream class today in C++. And we normally use that to implement input and output operations in a program. So it's very important that we know how to use a string stream object along with the extraction operator and insertion operator. But we're not going to look at the insertion operator in this video. We are only going to focus on the extraction operator. Um, before I, I go any further, let me switch to full screen. So uh, here they are giving us an example where they are having a string stream object and they are initializing it with that string right here. A string is a sequence of characters. And so they are uh, creating that character variable. You can see the char type right here. And three uh, integer variables uh, with int letter type. And what they do next is that they use the uh, extraction operator to extract values from the string and store them in, in those variables here. So for, um, you can see SS, that is our string stream object. They're extracting uh, the first number here. It's an int, an integer value. So they are storing that into A. Then the next thing, they extract the next uh, character, which is the comma, and it's a character. So they store that in CH, which is of char type. Next, they extract uh, number four. So they store it in B, which is an int variable. Then they extract the next comma, store it in uh, CH. And then finally, they extract 56, and uh, they store that in uh, the int variable C. And uh, when you, if you were to run such a program and print the, the values of A, B, C, you would get A23, B is four, and C is 56. So they want us to do something very similar in this hacker rank challenge right now. And um, they are going to handle the input and output for us automatically. But what we have to do is uh, complete the function called parse ints. So let's uh, check here in this part of our window. We see this is the function that we need to complete. It's, it needs to return an int vector, a vector that stores integer uh, values. And uh, the name is parse ints, and it takes a string called str as a parameter. So what we need to do now is um, the, the string is going to consist of comma separated integers. So this is it's going to look like this. This is going to be the sample inputs. And what we have to do is return a vector of ints representing the integers. So if we pass this to the function as an argument, we are supposed to extract the integers and then display them uh, like we're supposed to store the integers in the um, uh, vector, which stores int values, and return that vector so that in the program, in our main, uh, the main function here, we can loop through that vector and see out all the uh, integer values stored in it line by line just like we see here. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that we have to do here is create our uh, vector, which we intend to return. So when you create a vector, uh, keep in mind the first thing is we have this vector header file here, and we also have ssstream, uh, the header file, so that I can use the uh, string stream, um, I can create a string stream object like they, they have done right here. So let me create my vector here. It's a vector of int type. I'm going to call that v. Next up, I'm going to create this string stream object. So I'm going to say string stream, and I'm going to call that SS, I guess. And I need to initialize it with str. Now next up, I'm going to create my variables. So first I'm going to have an int called n. That's the variable in which I intend to extract the uh, int values from the string, store them in n, and then pass the values or add the values to my vector. And I'm also going to have a, another variable that I'm going to call skip. So whenever we encounter a comma, I'm going to store that comma in uh, the skip variable and keep extracting the rest of the integers. So what we can do now is have a while loop. I can say while ss and I can, while I can see and read uh, values, what I'm going to do is check what is the next value that I'm about to read so that I can decide if I want to extract uh, that value and store it into n or skip. So if we want to check uh, what value uh, we are about to extract, then we can use the peak method. So for that, I can say ss.speak right now. And I want to check if it's not equal to a comma, then I want to verify if the um, extraction uh, operation works. If it succeeded, then I want to store the value n into the vector. 
And when you want to add something to a vector, you use pushback. Normally, that's how we do it. So let me not forget the semicolon here. And finally, I can say, if the value that we, we are about to extract is in fact a comma, then what I can do is simply store that inside of skip. So I can say um, ss like that. And when we are done, then all we need to do is return a v because we've updated v in our while loop here. All right. So just in case it's uh, confusing, uh, let me first run the code here to make sure that I didn't do any silly mistakes. It's processing. We pass the test. Let's submit the code. Make sure that we pass all the test cases. I think we did. Now let me just quickly recap. We have this function here. It accepts a string as a parameter and uh, we create here the vector that we intend to return, which is a vector of int uh, values, uh, int elements if you want. And then here we have our SS object with str passed to it, the string. And then we create two variables, an integer variable and a char for character. And then we loop. We want to go through uh, the string and extract the values. If it's not a comma, that means it's a number. So we want to store that number in n and add the value of n to the vector. If it's a comma indeed, then we want to extract it into skip and keep reading the rest of the array until we exceed that loop because there's nothing left uh, to be read. And then we return that vector here. So in our program, we can just create our string, accept user input. So we assume that the user just input that uh, value here. The next thing is we can call that function. It will return our vector, our updated vector of int values. And we store that in our own vector called integers. And then we loop through integers until the end of that vector. And we just see out every single value line by line. That's why we have this next line character here. And that's it. So um, that was a pretty easy uh, challenge. I hope you got it. If you have any questions, please make sure you drop them in the comment section. I will reply to them as fast as I can. Please make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.